Me Warren is live from our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom with a look ahead. Change. Rick Nacella, we're here at the Thomas Brannigan Library. This is one of 40 different voting convenience centers around the city of Las Cruces. And boy, these guys are going to be busy come tomorrow. That's because the county clerk's office is estimating about 75,000 people in the county will be voting in this year's presidential election. That's 10,000 more than the last presidential election. And with all of these people, they want to assure you they will not tolerate any misconduct. Somebody asks you, who are you going to vote for as, as they go in? Or coming out, who did you vote for? Or as we've had one experience, there's a table full of cookies and candies, and if you tell me who you're going to vote for, I'll give you, or you can pick out what you want. County Clerk Lynn Allens tells us that's unacceptable at the polls, and there are consequences. If it's serious, the presiding judge is authorized to call 911, and law enforcement will come over and investigate. While all was quiet Monday, the clerk's office is preparing for one of the biggest elections yet. Allen says, don't worry, his poll workers are prepared. You can't hack our voting machines. They're not connected on the internet. The only thing they're plugged into is an electrical socket in the wall. I'm not concerned about anybody messing with our voting machines. Besides which, we have a paper trail. When it's all over, we can go back into a hand count if we had to. As for why so many are expected to cast their ballot. It's a zany election. Never seen anything like it. I think the concern is such that nobody wants to stay home and regret the fact that they didn't have something to say about it. Because there's going to be controversy when this election is over. The polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow. And we did also want to let you know that school in the Las Cruces School District will be canceled tomorrow, aside from 11th and 12th graders at Arrowhead Early College High School. And that's because a lot of those places are actual voting stations, so they need that extra space for parking. Reporting live in Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Jamie Warren, ABC 7. Jamie, thank you. Here at El Paso.